this is what happens when you're a beginner and you're figuring things out. Look at the roots. I did that. Whoa. And if you are new here, introduce yourself in the comments below. I'd like to get to know you. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Becoming Vermont. Today we are going to be working in our indoor garden as a beginner. So if this is something that you've never done before, welcome. I haven't either. I'm learning as I go. My plan today is to mix up some more potting soil, uh, hopefully start some microgreens today in trays. This may not be until an upcoming video, but it'll be coming up soon if it's not in this video. And up potting some of our arugula and kale in these these pink pots those are three inches and the orange ones are five and from what i understand up potting is just getting a size larger pot than you currently have your seeds in or your new growth in and pot it up to the next size before you can transplant it outside. That's how I understand it. If I'm wrong, please someone, I'm sure you will let me know. <laughs> uh, but that's what I'm pretty sure it is. Some things I think I can leave in my germinating trays. So welcome to the chaos. Let's start mixing some soil. Safety first. All right, this is that black gold potting mix. It's very fine and soft, very, very fine and soft. And this is that Mother Earth. It feels crumbly. So there's more, there's certainly more than just soil. I mean, that's quite obvious in both of them, but even just the feel of the soil. And you can see there is still some sticks that I'm gonna have to be a little mindful of. They just do look a little different. Here are the ingredients of the Mother Earth performance soil. compared to the ingredients of the black gold. They look similar. They both start with that peat moss. Perlite, calcium silicate, and a wetting agent. Perlite, pumice, and fertilizer are in the other one. Let's get started. this was going to be a really good idea just to mix it in this in this Tupperware because obviously now it gives me a ton of soil to use the issue is this is not sufficient <laughs> I almost needed like a shovel to kind of dig and mix everything through and as you can see it's very dry and I don't want it dry when I'm going to start potting or up potting some of my plants I want this material to be not soaking wet, uh, but not dry. So somewhere in the middle, a little bit of moisture. And to do that, I'm going to use some water. Do I want to do that? I'm not sure. Hmm, maybe what I will do, because I don't want this all wet. Maybe what I'm going to do is use my five gallon bucket, add some of this in there, and then I will just get that wet. This is what happens when you're a beginner and you're figuring things out. If I add moisture to this entire container, and I don't use the entire container, which I wouldn't, am I going to damage my soil? I don't know. Maybe not if I leave the cap off. I don't know. Hmm. This is a conundrum. I'm going to put some of it in my five gallon bucket. That's what I'm going to do. Problem temporarily solved. This way I can add water to this and every other part of the soil that I'm not going to use will still remain dry. see a difference right I'm kind of squeezing it nothing no water is dripping out but it's definitely staying in clumps more might be 
good enough. Let's start potting some plants. All right, this is a tray of mesclun, which I planted, I guess it's 22 days ago. If you look closely, you see I planted more than one seed in each cell because I'm trying my best. But if I can kind of separate best I can one single seedling, you can see these are their first leaves and then these are their second leaves. What I've been hearing is that you can up pot these seedlings when they have at least their second leaves or are two inches tall and also that when they get to this point you can remove the second leaves to kind of just encourage growth to go to the top of the plant instead of just kind of wasting it because you'll see a lot of these first leaves are kind of yellowing. Why tell the plant to give that part energy when it's just going to die off anyway? So I can remove those and kind of encourage growth to the rest of the plant, the top of the plant as it continues to grow. What I have written down is that this is kale and then this is arugula. But again, you can see when you pull apart one seedling that's germinated, the first leaves are kind of dying off and the second leaves are kind of what you want for the growth to continue. So I'm going to remove the first leaves that I see just to encourage that growth to the top of the plant. And hopefully up pot them into these. Now, some will be happier in bigger pots. Some will have to just survive in what they are surviving in. All right, so what I think I'm going to do is use some of this mesclun, put some in these three inch pots, do the same with some arugula and kale. into these bigger pots. I think you just squeeze. I'm so scared to pull directly. Give it a good squeeze and pull. Please don't break. Oh. Oh. Look at the roots. I did that. Wow. All right. Let's make a little hole and put you in. Oh, are you so happy now? You have so much more space. Those roots. I'm trying to do the biggest ones I see. So, let's go for this guy. Wow. Every time I remove, I'm just so impressed. Good looking. All right, so we've done three of the mesclun. I guess I'll do three of the kale and three of the arugula as well. What I've determined is we'll do six each, six mesclun, six arugula, six kale, and that will fill up this tray. Look at what we did. We did such a good job. Yay. Okay, so we have two columns of kale, two columns of arugula, and two columns of mesclun. And these are 
three inch pots that I have now up potted these plants in. I am going to add some water to the base, but the soil is moist, which is very good. I'll try to now remove some of the first leaves that I can just take off to help more growth of the plant underneath and just get it a little more established. I will get these under the lights and we'll see how these do. So just for reference, this is 22 days after I started both of these trays in on these seeds. I also wanted to show you my tray four. Now tray four, this tray was my tray that I was very sad about these two columns here. These are cilantro and it took this cilantro eight days to germinate. Whereas all of my other seeds took between two and four days, maybe tops to germinate. And I was so sad in one of my last videos because I said the only thing that didn't come up was my cilantro. And you guys were so wonderful in the comments and reassured me. And yep, you're right, day eight. That's how long it took for my cilantro. So I'm thrilled to see my cilantro growing so nicely in my tray. So if you can see, there are my new girls behind me in the three inch pots. I, I just don't know if I'm going to be able to up pot everything. I wonder if I can just eat some of these like arugula and kale and mescaline as microgreens. I'm assuming I can and then just kind of restart. Um, Mm, yeah, now I understand what you guys were all saying about you started too early. Okay, maybe yes, but it's not gonna hurt anything. I'm not gonna waste these and these will be put to good use whether I just eat them in micro as microgreens or I can give them away to people because I'm in Vermont and everyone gardens here. That's not true, but I'm sure I can find a way to to hand these off to other people who have pots who can keep doing this inside. But for now, we're just gonna keep going as we are going. Uh, I raised up my lights a little bit by eliminating one of my S hooks. That's my strategy. And yeah, that's what I've got today. So thank you guys for, for coming. I am not gonna do my microgreens in this video because I'm still waiting for a tray with holes in it to separate my microgreens from the bottom of a tray that doesn't make any sense but I'm waiting and it's going to be arriving today by UPS I just was hoping it would be done it would be here by now but it's not so that's okay that's fine next video next video and if you're not yet subscribed please subscribe we have lots of fun here we go hiking in the woods we play with my dogs we get really motivational that's just what we do when we are in our late 40s and we're in midlife and we live in Vermont. So welcome to my world of the universe here in YouTube. Thank you for being here. It means the world to me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.